Hi, my name is Lisa Siegel. I am an artist. I'm also a poet and a writer and a teacher of poetry and writing through the Los Angeles Poets and Writers Collective. And I have a body of work, my new body of work, that combines both of my art practices. I also have another element that I often use, which is a crow. The crow is sometimes specifically a crow and sometimes abstractly a crow. When it's abstractly a crow, it's birds in general. When it came to be that, that a bird showed up, it changed what I understood about the language that I had used to write my poem with that ended up in my work. And I came to understand that there are systems that cultures and societies use to communicate with each other, and we either do or don't understand each other. The beauty I found in the poetry becoming an art element for me was that it became surface abstractions that I couldn't predict how they would visually look, even though, even though I knew what each element I was going to combine looked like, I had no idea how they would look when the piece was finished. I'm interested in both literal things and abstracted things. So the poetry as a text element that isn't legible anymore as the words were when they were part of the poem, but does, does still linger for someone that speaks English or speaks a language that shares the alphabet of English. It, it lingers with the flavor of being understandable. It's, it's that engagement of trying to make sense out of things on the one hand. The reintroduction again, to mention the crow, is crows also communicate with each other. And at, at some point, I realized that the noise that I, the visual noise that I was making by putting the, the text pieces together could be representative of what I understand of the birds when they're talking to each other. And what they might understand of us humans when we're sharing the same space and talking to each other. What do they understand about what we're saying to each other? The body of work is like a merging of worlds. It's language and, and, and different communication systems. Some of my pieces also have other, other systems of communication like math or uh, accounting systems because I use paper and paper gets written on. And one of the things in certain niches of society that people write on paper are numbers and in an attempt to make a count of things. So those worlds merge, the languages, the different languages merge, and also just the visualness of shapes and shapes being created r randomly to become further abstracted as if language isn't abstract enough or art. Thank you for listening to me. It's been nice talking to you. Thank you.